Hey, so we are gonna go uh, shop Lambertville for a little bit. Uh, yesterday, I didn't get it on tape, but I picked up uh, a little bit of scrap. So it doesn't look like there's that many people here today. So I guess we'll shop and then we'll go run over to the scrap yard. See if we can get a whole truckload. Block sets are really awesome. Found this nineteen sixty six. I think I'll get that. It's uh, three bucks. He's got some cool things though today. Like that light. No. The different plastic animals on a train. That's pretty darn cool. That's all hand, hand embroidered. What are you getting on the fragment? What's that? This thing. Oh, it's 20 bucks. All right, I think I'll have to do that. Try to save it. It's horrible. I just picked up uh, this little box for five bucks. I always like different handles and stuff. Salt and pepper. But it's got calligraphy tips and uh, some uh, watch. These are watch uh, stems. There isn't too much down that way. I think we'll go this way. We'll see what else we can uh, find. What is it? Is it a site for a tank? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's what it looks like. You look at the way like, you can see around. Well, especially with that handle. The prism system. It's crazy. This is the prostate of a dinosaur. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> pretty cool. <laughs> it is pretty cool. M105B. I think it's out of a tank. Yeah, it has to be. Because it's white, you know, like the inside of a Well, your, your tip here is green yeah. to where it would go go outside, because yeah. this is right where it would go outside yeah. at that collar. That's cool, man. Well, Jim lives right by Fort Dix, so he always has something different. Yeah, it seems to work. Yeah. I like this one. Right there. It's very good, too. Good morning, Jim. Hi, Dave. Where'd you get your tank tank site at? Oh, it was that. Uh, I took it on consignment. That's pretty cool. We uh, captured some matches and started a <laughs> Is it got the mechanics in there? I mean, I don't really know what mechanics are. I just think it's. Yeah, it's not, doesn't look like too much is missing. No, I mean, it seems to work fine. I mean, as far as the power and stuff of it. I like this. So, I just found this uh, box of Seth Thomas parts. Not bad. All little brass pieces. Jim, what'd you say you wanted on this? Yeah, you wanted 20? 20 bucks for the boat. Alright, I, I think I'll do that. Here, I'll give you some Flemington auction too. Egg auction. Is that the egg auction Flemington? I don't know. I know there's a lot of egg 
egg houses around here, so it probably is. All right, we got the watch parts. At least there's a little action for a Wednesday. I love these old barn sleds. favorite types of tables with all the parts and pieces. First chandelier. He has all these silver plated they're all matching too so they're pretty cool. This are for a coffee pot. filing cabinet drawers. Some cool stuff. I'll get this for five. Do you have a bag or? No, I don't have a bag. Alright, no problem. I, I just like that it was old vintage Toys R Us. You know, there's a lot of them are open in here, so they, you know, they should be worth a dollar. The cool thing about it is there's some good sets in there. If you, know, like, you, know, if you really want to keep them. Yeah, I definitely got into collecting uh, the baseball cards when I was a kid. Here, I'll give you some money. See, this is what I was looking at. These take them. Nah, it's all right. Yeah, take them. Go ahead, fish them out there. I don't care. I'm easy. But I, I appreciate that bracelet for a dollar. Get them out. Get them out of here. Uh, I'm just gonna grab, grab. I, I got a pocket. All right. I'm easy, man. I don't. You, now, did you shoot that deer? No, that's, I didn't. That's a, that's a pretty big, big. That one over there is bigger. Oh uh, wow, well, yeah. No, I bought I bought about 15 of them. That one is huge. Yeah, it's a nice one here. Yep. Make good knife handle. And you can make all kinds of things out of them. You can make uh, keychains. You know, you cut these down here. Mm -hmm. Knife handles or keychains. You'd be surprised if you're, if I'm not, I'm not inclined to do that stuff. I have the uh, equipment to do it, but I don't have the time. But you can make, you can make some nice stuff, you know. Add a little bit of gold here, a little bit of gold there. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some money for these. You need it? Listen, you don't, you don't, you don't have to. All right, thank you. You, you really don't have to. You get them all? I think so. Come on, come on. A couple more in there, probably. I have a friend uh, up in Brimfield, and that's all he sells is like these weird beads. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he does with them, but. Well, a lot of people are into beads. Yep. There you go. Thank you for the bottle. You have a good day. Where'd you find the bottle at? I bought it. I didn't find it. Uh, okay. I used to dig. I don't dig anymore. Well, I appreciate it. Yep. Have a good day. Tom, uh, are you going home with a telescope today? It's pretty nice. I always like the old tool work on a gun. That's when they did work. I think it's 1895, so you're okay. About poison bottles. How much is this? Ten bucks. Uh, I guess I'll buy it for ten bucks. Here's a poison bottle. Where'd Steve go? He usually buys these. All right. You know why it's shaped like that, right? It's not like perfectly round, it has that triangle. Back in the day, when uh, you used to reach into the cupboard, you didn't always have your, like they didn't have bright lights. So you, if you grabbed that, you knew it was poison in the dark or like with a bad candlelight. That makes sense. That's why they're shaped triangly and all that other stuff. How much is the poison bottle though? 10 bucks. 
This one has a giraffe on it. Let's sort through it. I've never seen the giraffe. Look at this thing. I know what that's for. What? That's for, they use them for pulling the hands out of, uh, for a watchmaker. It's a watchmaker's tool. What like this? That is the head for a record player. Reproduce, watch this thing. Oh, you can okay. actually hear stuff with that? No, magnify it. Here, uh, do it. You do it. No. Do it to the camera. Does that got sound? Uh, oh, it, it makes... Yeah, it magnifies it. That's what Edison invented. Because yeah. he was hard of hearing. What He's actually say? working on a hearing aid. What did he say? He said this was... was it no, I'm just kidding. Magnifies. Uh, yeah. Amplifies. Amplifies. That's yeah. it. Yeah, he's got the right word. <laughs> 50 amps. That's how much amplification he has. All right, here's my $10 for for that. I appreciate it, Jim. So do I. Great, right? It's actually really nice. This is from the Bud Company. Somebody stole it. You want a Volkswagen piece? I don't know. Phonographs, this is a rare one. Almost looks like a sewing machine. How much is this guy? Um, Two hundred dollars. He's cool. Well, I'm not the guy for two hundred, but yeah. Let's we'll see. All right. Insert two pennies and one dime. You think it's for a twelve cent comic book dispenser? <laughs> Gotta be. What else is twelve? Cents? What uh, What else would be twelve cents? That's what we were trying no. to figure out. That's what were condoms back then? Uh, Nickel. Yeah, but use them for balloons. He was just... <laughs> <laughs> no, we used what to were newspapers poop. back then? A nickel, dime. Uh, a dime. They. I don't think they ever made you put in the extra pennies. No. N n uh, newspapers were always something even. Nickel, dime. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Comic books were the only thing that was 12 cents. I think that was a comic book vending machine. That's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. It'll work. Well, as long as you say it with authority, people will believe you. So yeah, I just have to scratch on the back of the DC or more. How much are your wood blocks? Five bucks. I think I'll get them. Right. Each. Never seen one like that. How about this Western Airlines? Huh? That's a nice boat. Must have had a wing nut. That's a nice boat. Nobody has enough. Forget that. Don't ever buy it on a flea market test. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever buy it. The guy is asking how much is enough. You say more. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever ask me to do a job for you on a flea market Do you have any of these at home, Chris? None. I just bought all these from him. Yeah, no. These sell in my store like crazy. I don't get a lot of money for them. But They're cool look. looking. You know why? Because if you have a parking lot next to my store. Uh huh. For motorcycles and a lot of classic car guys ride up to French Town. Did you buy all the ones in the front or just I didn't those? I bought them all. I bought four or five. I bought four or five. I bought the ones that like people have. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you mean. So we just had to show you guys real fast um, how cool this fragment is. It's getting windy. But these look like cannonballs here. Must have been when the Indian Wars were, because these look like teepees. Powder horn. Um, the dog is really cool. Got a farm with the sun. But, I don't know. One of my favorite uh, 
embroideries I ever I've owned even though it's just a fragment but it will frame really nice uh, we'll get a nice blue border for it or something and put it in a frame uh, look at the detail on the hands but definitely the Indian teepees and the war eagle it's pretty cool all right, what else could I show you? I got that. I bought for 20 bucks. I got uh, all the watch parts from Jim, or the clock parts. Uh, I was pretty happy with that deal. He also sold me that uh, uh, 1893 uh, double barrel piece. Really like the scroll work, if you guys can see that. Very cool. Um, five bucks I bought all the little wood blocks. They seem to sell pretty well, especially uh, if you look on Etsy and stuff. Um, from the guy I got the embroidery from for 20 bucks, he sold me all this for five. The insect tin, the trains, and uh, the 1960, I guess it's 66. I bought the calligraphy pins or pen tips and the other watch parts for five bucks. I did get my beer bottle for five. Uh, that's German for beer, B I E R. And uh, I bought this owl bracelet for a dollar. All right, I think we got to get out of here. It is killing it. Uh, definitely throwing stuff all over the place. So, hit the guy at the end, threw this, uh, threw that in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch everybody uh, next time.